Let's get into the big moves China's making to bring its humanoid robots to the masses. Plus, a first look at the new AI robot, UbiTech, developed with major industry players. Chinese startup Booster Robotics's new pint-sized humanoid that's available for purchase. The world's fastest ladder-climbing robot. A startup developing a humanoid inspired by surrealism and a robot cooking system from Japan. China is stepping up its efforts to lead the global humanoid robotics market. According to China Daily, local and central governments are pooling their resources as the country aims to mass-produce humanoids in 2025 and corner the market by 2027. Officials just elevated the Beijing Embodied Artificial Intelligence Robotics Innovation Center, or Humanoid, to a national-level research hub. That means the center, established in November 2023, will receive funding from Beijing as well as the central government to accelerate research and development. Earlier this year, the center introduced Tian Kang, a general-purpose humanoid robot with an open-source and open-architecture design to encourage further innovation and development. Standing 1.6 meters and weighing 43 kilos, the AI robot is fully electric and features cutting-edge flexible sensors and actuators. The center, the first of its kind in China, said it will use the increased funding to establish industry standards, reduce R&D costs for enterprises, expand use cases, and accelerate the product development. The ultimate goal is to make humanoid robots essential in industries like manufacturing and logistics. The center is also speeding up work on its Kaiwu platform, which will combine more than 100 key skills to handle complex tasks. They're also building a national dataset with more than 1 million entries, open for the whole industry to use for improving AI systems, training robots, and developing better technologies across different fields. China Daily reports that, since the beginning of the year, manufacturing provinces like Zhejiang, Shandong, Anhui, and Sichuan have also set up innovation centers. The Zhejiang Humanoid Robot Innovation Center recently showcased its Navi Navigator 2, which features a reported 41 degrees of freedom. The center is primarily funded by Subcon, which specializes in intelligent manufacturing and industrial automation. And in May, a new humanoid innovation center in Shanghai was built with national and city funding. The National Local Joint Humanoid Robot Innovation Center recently unveiled its full-sized general-purpose humanoid robot, Kinglong, featuring a reported 43 degrees of freedom. The open-source robot's hardware structure and related technologies are being shared through the OpenLoon community. Meanwhile, Fulin Precision, an auto parts company, has partnered with Agibot and others to form a company that will build humanoid robots in Chengdu. This venture aims to produce robots that can do human-like tasks, with Fulin providing key parts for the robots. The joint venture helped increase Fulin's stock value because of its potential in the fast-growing robotics industry. Ajiba, founded by former Huawei youth genius Peng Zhui, introduced its line of advanced AI robots earlier this year. The company is also known as Jiwan Robot. Its flagship, the Expedition A2, has 40 degrees of freedom and is equipped with sensors like cameras, LiDAR, and microphones to interact with dynamic environments. It's designed for tasks requiring extreme precision, such as threading a needle, and is ideal for roles in customer service and business consulting. Edgebot plans to deliver 300 AI robots by the end of the year, with plans to commercialize them next year, targeting the manufacturing sector. The humanoid robot line also includes the Expedition A2W, designed for flexible manufacturing tasks. It can carry up to 5 kilograms in each arm with 7 degrees of freedom, and is wheeled for swift movement in industrial settings. And a heavier-duty version, the A2 Max, that carries heavy objects and boasts 67 degrees of fully body freedom. Its legs can exert 8,800 newtons of thrust, enough to lift a small car, and its 450 newton meters of torque can tighten large bolts or turn cranks. This is UB Tech's new humanoid robot, carrying a heavy parcel while walking smoothly on a treadmill. The load is 16.3 kilos, or just under 36 pounds, about the weight of a typical countertop microwave. The leading Chinese robotics company just unveiled its Walker S1 AI robot, 
developed in partnership with industry giants like BYD, Audi, Volkswagen's Qingdao branch, Geely Auto, Foxconn, Hongqi Dongfeng, and SF Express. According to UB Tech, the Walker S1 possesses advanced AI with agility to perform tricky tasks with great control and balance. Its camera system provides 360-degree safety monitoring, while its hands have special sensors to grip and hold things with just the right amount of force. UB Tech says the Walker S1's multitask execution capabilities position it as a leading humanoid for generalized industrial tasks. UB Tech introduced its Walker robot line back in 2018. If you ever wanted your own robot buddy best friend, well, that reality is now possible. This is a walking bipedal robot from UB Tech aiming to come out in 2019. Not only can it be a companion in your home, but also security guard, a butler, a nanny, a dance partner, even a soccer partner. The original Walker was a bipedal humanoid robot designed primarily to showcase the company's recent advancements in AI and robotics. The first iterations were geared toward home and office assistance applications. Around 2020, UB Tech began shifting the Walker line's purpose toward more versatile uses. The first Walker S model emerged in 2022 as a direct response to growing demand for industrial robotics. Robots from UB Tech's Walker line have been deployed at factories like Zeker's 5G Smart Factory and the Fa Volkswagen plant in Qingdao. Beijing-based Booster Robotics's new open-source humanoid robot is now available for purchase. The Booster T1, which is intended for developers, features advanced motion control for flexible movements. It walks autonomously, plays soccer, and performs kung fu. Standing 1.2 meters, the T1 robot weighs about 30 kilograms or 66 pounds. It's slightly shorter than Unitree's G1 AI robot, which the Chinese-based robotics leader is selling for $16,000. The Booster T1 gained significant attention at the 2024 World Robot Conference for its demonstrations performing difficult tasks like lateral and vertical splits, along with 360-degree joint rotation. Booster's website does not specify pricing. This is the world's fastest ladder climbing robot. Researchers from ETH Zurich say they got the animal quadrupedal robot to climb ladders 232 times faster than previous robots. They used reinforcement learning to train the robot to follow commands and climb ladders smoothly. They designed hooked feet for a secure grip to prevent slipping. The hooks helped it both push and pull its way up, keeping the robot stable while climbing. They ran many simulations for the animal to practice climbing different sized and shaped ladders. In real-life tests, the robot had a 90% success rate climbing different types of ladders, making it reliable in real-world industrial settings. The robot climbed at an average speed of 0.44 meters per second. That's slower than humans who typically climb between a half a meter to one meter per second. But it's significantly faster than other robots who often take minutes to climb a single rung. Animal, introduced in 2017, is designed to handle tough environments and perform autonomous inspections in hazardous industrial settings. The robot is sold through an ETH spin-off company called Anybotics. This robot's face is inspired by surrealistic art. Palo Alto-based Kind Humanoid teamed up with industrial design firm Fuse Project to create an AI-powered robot for versatile tasks in healthcare and homes. They drew inspiration from René Magritte, a 20th-century artist known for painting everyday objects in unusual contexts. Magritte is celebrated for challenging viewers' perceptions of reality. His most famous paintings, like The Son of Man, explore the mysterious and the unknowable. Instead of a human-like face, the kind humanoid features a visor displaying animations of clouds and skies, with floating eyes to express intent and emotion. Fuse Project has an equity stake in Kind Humanoid. The company's prior robotics projects include Moxie by Embodied and Cobalt Security Robots. This robot cooks like a pro. No human needed. Japanese researchers just introduced the so-called real-world cooking robot system that can read recipes, identify ingredients, and cook meals autonomously. The PR2 dual-wheeled robot's vision system locates ingredients in the kitchen. Its camera identifies objects like eggs or butter and finds their position for easy pickup. With large language models, the robot reads recipes and converts them into step-by-step -step actions. The robot monitors the cooking process, using vision language models to make decisions based on how the food looks during each step.
It adjusts its actions as needed, like turning off the stove when the food is ready. Researchers hope to expand the cooking robot's capabilities so it can prepare more complex dishes. The PR2 robot, first introduced in 2010 by Willow Garage, is an open-source robot designed for research and development. This is Jaka K1, a new humanoid robot designed for high-precision tasks ranging from electronics assembly to surgical assistance. China-based Jaka Robotics just unveiled the AI robot at the China International Industry Fair in Shanghai. Standing 1.8 meters, the K1 has 29 movable joints and 14 degrees of freedom in its arms. The robot uses high-tech sensors, including depth cameras and touch sensors, to see its surroundings and carefully handle objects. With six-dimensional force control, the robot feels and reacts to pressure from any direction. This helps the K1 avoid applying too much pressure during delicate tasks. Jaka says the robot learns from its surroundings with its advanced AI, making real-time decisions to adapt as needed. Remember to subscribe to stay hip on the latest in humanoid robotics. Leave suggestions for humanoid robots to include in future roundups in the comments.